Yo, you know what it is, people. Let's look alive. People, let's look alive. This is J-Rock, and J-Rock has a movie review for Terminator Dark Fate. Got a sneak peek, and you're going to want to check this out. What J Rock is cooking? Finally, J Rock has come back to you too. What is happening? And then, 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 with the millions. J Rock's fans from all over the world. You're right here with J Rock. And we're about to check out, or should I say, check in on a movie review that J Rock got a sneak peek to Terminator Dark Fate. What does J Rock have to say about that? J Rock says this The movie starts out now, just so you know, no spoilers. No spoilers until you guys have seen it. Movie starts out picking up from the end of Terminator 2, as we know. And the movie starts out with, you remember one of the trailers when, when Sarah Connor, and I'll just be using the movie character's name, when Sarah Connor sees the Terminator, that's Arnold Schwarzenegger, and she tries to kill him. I don't know about you guys, but that was like, huh? That kind of threw me for a loop for a little bit because I'm sitting there thinking, wait a minute, at the end of T2, Everybody was crying and everybody was pissing and moaning. Chi 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 chi. You can't go. You gotta stay. I order you not to go. I order you not to go. But then all of a sudden, now you're trying to kill his candy ass. J Rock was thrown for a loop. Didn't quite understand that. Uh. But hey. That question was answered as to why she's tried to kill him right in the beginning of the movie. You see right away why she is trying to kill him and why she would want to kill him, to say the least. They answered that question real quick. And speaking of questions, this movie did a good job at the beginning of giving J-Rock more questions than answers. Because J-Rock had a couple questions, because I've been following along with the storyline. One of the first questions J-Rock has is, who is this Rudy Poo? Who is this little girl all of a sudden that needs to be protected? That was the first question. The second question J-Rock has is, who is this other Rudy Poo that is protecting her? And why does she need protection? That's number two. The third question that J-Rock had, which really threw me off was, in Terminator 2, they killed Miles Dyson, the man that created the processor that would eventually become Skynet. They killed his candy ass, destroyed all of his work, so now nobody can follow it. So why is there even a Terminator coming back to kill anybody? If they've changed the future, what is this jabroni doing trying to kill this Rudy Poo? So I had a lot of questions. And they don't answer them right away. Little by little, as the movie progresses, they begin to answer some of these questions. They keep you hanging on long enough to keep you interested enough to keep you dangling, if you will, to answer those questions. And I'll say this, just when you think that you know the reason of one, who she is, this little girl I'm referring to, and why she's so important, You think they tell you what the reasoning is, but then it turns out to be another reason. So you think they tell you, oh, okay, so that's who she is. That's why she's so important. Okay. But then you find out, oh, wait a minute. That's not it?
Obviously, Sarah Connor makes her grand return. And she makes a grand entrance, as you see in the trailer. The trailer where they show them on the bridge and she shows up to, you know, blow up the Terminators or shoot them or whatever. Yeah, that was, that was her grand entrance. But that was clear and obvious in the trailer, so no spoilers. This new Terminator. is indeed probably the more dangerous of the terminators thus far but for the folk for the main reason of he can he can split in two i guess where you know his exoskeleton can hunt just like he can so it's two up in a century two and one if you will all right two for one discount and so that makes it a little more challenging, if you will, to kill it. So how do they kill this thing? Well, you have to watch the movie to find out. And the way the movie ends leaves you thinking, okay, there's going to be another Terminator movie. And I hope James Cameron directs it, because I think he should direct all of them. But um, this movie had a lot of good action. CGI was great. Storytelling was good. There was a couple down moments in the movie. The one of the things that I didn't too much like about the movie was that one of the things, in my opinion, that, that, that J-Rock believes is that that made the first two Terminator movies so amazing. T2 is my favorite of all time. Is there's this element of cat and mouse, right? Where the Terminator has to hunt right you can't just pull up a map and say ah there she is he actually has to hunt do some research some investigating to actually track him down you remember in terminator 2 where you know the the terminator uses the police computer finds out where he lives goes to his home has to get a picture uh, Try to figure out where he is, ask everybody, you know him, do you know him, do you know him? So there's this element there. There's a little bit of that here, but here's one of the things I didn't too much care for. You know, in the it, we're in the year 2019, and so there's this whole era of digitization, right? For, just just work with me, Digitiz digitization. Say that 20 times. Back. All right, digitization, where Everything leaves a digital footprint. Everything. There's cameras everywhere, cell phones, all of that. So we're in that age right now in this movie. And to me, this Terminator having accesses or access to all kind of databases and everything kind of takes away from the whole cat and mouse hunt part of it. Now, there's still a little investigating that he has to do for the simple part is that they're in a part of the, the world where there's only but so much he can do. But to me, that's the only part of it to where I'm like, okay, all right, we get it. All right, digitization, we get it there. Okay, fine. And so it kind of leaves the, the thrill sticking out of it of how is he going to find it somewhat. Um, there, is a, there, there are parts of the movie where he has to, well, he doesn't have the ability or the option to do that. Where well, he actually has to go and, you know, finagle things around. But that was my only thing about the movie to where I'm like, eh, damn it. Okay, we get it, but you gotta do that much though? The fight scenes were great. Um, there were times where you thought it was over, at least I did. Then it turns out it's not over. It's not over at all. But uh, trying to think of anything else. The movie starts out with somewhat of a a big. It sets the story up big time. All right, because again, it's a continuation from Terminator Two. And for me, when I saw it. I was like, what? Oh, I did not see that coming. I was like, 
Huh? Okay. J Rock didn't see that. But this movie came this close. This close to usurping T2 as my all time favorite Terminator movie. It did take over the number two spot, though. So, J Rock, on a scale of one to five, J Rock is going to give this movie four out of five YouTube people's eyebrows. But if you're thinking about going to see it, definitely go check it out. Because this movie was good. Damn good. All right? Uh, a lot of good action. Storytelling was good. Uh, action packed. Um, it wasn't one of those movies to where the best parts of the movies were in the trailers. No, there's they 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 tease you enough to make you want to see more and they deliver more. I will say that. They deliver more for you. Uh, there's a lot of action in this movie. Now the girl that's protecting her, I didn't know whether she was like Kyle Reese or human, or if she was a full-fledged Terminator. I'm not gonna tell you either way. You have to watch it and see. But it might be what you think, and it may not be what you think. Um, but overall, this was a damn good movie. I want to see it again. Ultra HD, 60 frames per second. I want to see that. I love 60 frames per second. So much smoother and cleaner. Uh, in 4K, yes. But go check it out. You'll enjoy it. Um, yeah, that's what J-Rock said. If you appreciated this movie review, make sure you hit that like button. J-Rock, appreciate you subscribing and joining J-Rock on his journey to 1 million subscribers. So join in, join the family, the people's family, the people's channel, and share the video and let the world know that the most electrifying YouTuber in all of YouTube and entertainment, J-Rock, is here. All right? Hit that bell so you can be notified that it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Until next time. If you smell la, 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 what J-Rock is hooking. Okay.